how to save pages in mac if you're using macbook air macbook pro or imac the steps are going to be same now let's say if you open pages application to create new document you need to select new document and then you can select the template for ideas or if you want to create new document on a blank page you can select blank and then select create for now i'm going to select this template and then I'm going to select create. So if you create any document in pages application and if you want to save it, how can you save it? So there are two ways. Either you can use uh, you know, shortcut to save your document. So the shortcut to save document is command and S. So you can press command plus S on your keyboard and you will get a pop-up window where you can rename your document. Now currently you can see the document is untitled. So you can rename while saving this document. And the second way is you can go in file option on menu bar and over here you have save option. Now you can see the shortcut for that is command S. So either you can go in file and select save or else you can directly use shortcut. So whenever you select save, you will get a small uh, pop-up screen like this. You can rename your file. So let's say if we want to rename it as test file one. So I have renamed it. You can choose the location where you want to save it. Now, currently I have selected desktop. If you want to change, you can select this drop down and you can select other location where you want to save this file. And once it is done, select save option. As soon as you select save, the file will be saved to the desired location. And now you can see the untitled document name is also changed. So this is how simple it is to save any document which you have created in pages application. One more thing. So let's say, once you save any particular document, after that, if you make some changes to uh, that document, if you add anything else to that document, the next time you don't have to uh, press command plus S or you don't have to go in file and select save option to you know save the changes. It is auto saved. So no matter whichever thing you add, automatically it will be saved from the next time. So first time you have to save it manually, but from the next time, if you edit anything, it will be auto saved. So as you can see, I have written something over here and I haven't, uh, you know, pressed save option over here. So I'm directly going to close this. And next time, if I open that file, you can see the changes are still there. So yeah, that's how simple it is to save pages in your Mac. So if you find this video informative, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.